order. I'm sick and tired of our president trying to score cheap political points so he can tear families apart. Are we going to let this continue? No. And if we had the power, we would abolish ICE. Here in San Francisco, we do things differently. In San Francisco, we are a sanctuary city.
Now I'd like to introduce Deep Love, my colleague on the Board of Supervisors, Supervisor Hillary Rowan. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. When we were on the march over here, my daughter Mayel, who's five years old, turned to me and she said, Mama, I'm tired. And I picked her up and I said, Mayel, do you know why we're here? And she said, no. And I said, because the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, has put children in jail and separated them from their moms and dads. If you were in jail and we were apart, would you want other kids in the street fighting for you? And she said, yes, let's go! Thank you so much for being here today to be part of the resistance movement all over the country against the tyranny that has gripped our country. Even as we speak in San Francisco, there are over 1,500 people being detained by the San Francisco Immigration Court who do not have a lawyer. That is something that needs to change in this country. This is a very personal issue to me. My parents and grandparents, along with 120,000 Japanese Americans, were interned during World War II. My mother was six years old, was separated from her family and sent to Arkansas for four years without a trial. They said it would never happen again, and it is. And that's why it's so important that we make sure that people are properly represented. New York is the only state in the country that provides legal representation to every detained immigrant. Thanks to the Board of Supervisors, Mayor Farrell, we are able to double the number of public defenders now providing representation in immigration court. And so please join us in supporting universal representation for all immigrants. Thank you.